happening? How, I, I was gone for so little time. How, oh, what is this now? Why are you dead? You shouldn't. Ah. I'd leave them alone for like two minutes in here and they almost burn the entire void down. The destructive power of fire isn't something that you just want to mess around with. That is, unless you have a place like this, or you are roasting an opponent in a game like Mortal Kombat. Flames and combustion have been weapons all their own in this franchise for a quarter of a century. But what would it take to cut someone in half with heat? This is the... <laughs> this is the science of Mortal Kombat. Welcome to my Mortal Kombat version of the Void, complete with legions of minions ready to do my sciency bidding, and whole areas dedicated to the over-analysis of gratuitous kicking and punching. In today's episode, we are evaluating a specific and gruesome fatality from the latest entry into the Mortal Kombat series from WB Games and NetherRealm Studios, Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> The implication here is that it is the heat of Scorpion's chain which allows him to pull it through a person. So for our testing today, we are going to do our best to replicate the conditions of this heated fatality to see what they do to our human flesh analog. But if we cannot, we might have to come up with a few tricks of our own. Jeez! It's not real fire! It's not. You're being very safe. Thank you. I, I, no, it's good. It's, no, 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 no. It's good. Thank you. It's great. Now, I know that Scorpion is some revenant magic hell spawn demon dude, but if we are gonna use a real chain and make it through some material by burning it and make it look like it does in the fatality, there is only so hot that chain is gonna be. If an object is visibly glowing with heat, that means the radiation it is emitting on the electromagnetic spectrum has been shifted out of invisible wavelengths of light like infrared and into the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum like red. That's why going from infrared to red denotes red hot. You can calculate just how much wavelengths of light will be affected by an object's temperature using something called Wien's Law. You can see here it's equal to some constant divided by the temperature in Kelvin. This relationship also means that as the temperature gets larger from a radiating black body, as we call it, the wavelength will get smaller or shorter, which means, relatively speaking, red hot is cooler than something that is bluish or white hot. Using this displacement law, we can calculate that if Scorpion's chain is at least red hot, then it is at least 770 Kelvin, or around 500 degrees Celsius. In the Mortal Kombat 11 Fatality, though, the chain looks to be even hotter than this, a nice yellowish or even pinkish hot. Then it might be twice this temperature, 1,420 Kelvin or 1,150 degrees Celsius. Interestingly, these two temperatures are both below the melting point for either iron or steel, and so Scorpion could feasibly wield this chain while it's heated without that chain failing or melting. But is this hot enough to do real damage? Jeez, it's not real fire! Before we put a red hot chain to the test, we should at least check if we're in the right temperature range to burn stuff. If you're not a weird hell spawn thing, normal human body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Touch something at just 48 degrees Celsius, however, and you will receive a first degree burn. Come into contact with something 55 degrees Celsius, and your skin will start to blister, and you will receive a second degree burn. Ow. Touch something that is not even twice your body temperature and it will instantly destroy your flesh on contact. Bump this all the way up to 300 degrees Celsius and even heat protective materials begin to char. If we do this right, our heated chain will be more than twice this temperature, but whether or not that is enough to actually get through our flesh analog is way too complicated to deal with here. So now it's test time and I'm gonna need one of these because there's gonna be real fire. 
To help me with today's testing, I've enlisted the help of science YouTuber, super nerd, and friend, Alan Pan. Hey, Alan. Hi, Kyle. How are we gonna make things particularly toasty today? I'm glad you asked. Mm. We've got an oxyacetylene torch that oh. we're gonna use to heat this chain over here to red hot temperatures, or at least 500 degrees Celsius. Well, that should be hot enough for our purposes, but how will we know if it goes through flesh? We're not using human flesh or animal flesh today. Right, well, we have a dummy over there that has a flesh analog running vertically down his middle. Now, we're not using ballistics gel because while ballistics gel is great for testing impact on human bodies, it actually melts at a really low temperature and that wouldn't be accurate. It would be good if we were simulating something like penetration, but we're not. We want material to move out of the way. Exactly. So instead, we're using silicone rubber. Mm. Silicone rubber is well known for its heat resistance, but it does actually ignite at around the same temperature that animal flesh would. So if the chain actually could burn material away to cut through a body, we'll find out with this. Yeah, it's almost like a challenge. If our red hot chain can make it through our analog, then in the best case scenario, it could probably make it through some of you. And I can see from our table here that we are being extra safe for this test today, which is great. Right, it would be a shame if somebody were to get burned. <laughs> Jeez. You know, I'm very glad that we have these around, but fake fire still. We're not even testing. We'll see you in a moment, thank you. You may go. Don't, don't affirm him like that. Okay, Alan, I'll let you get the rest of the test set up and I will get you one of my minions to help you out who actually cut a guy in half once. Oh. Yeah, I'll see you in a hot minute. There isn't much to do but to test this ridiculous death sequence, but before we do, we should at least know what we are looking for. When we heat up this chain and place it over our dummy, we will want to see basically what we see in Mortal Kombat 11. A lot of fire, a lot of smoke, and the chain passing through the dummy under its own weight. This chain isn't necessarily very thin, or it won't be, and so pulling on it won't do any good unless it is physically burning material out of the way. And like I said before, if it can't do that, that, then Alan and I are gonna have to get a little bit creative. What, now nothing? Minions! What did I say about the consistency of bits? Timing. That's right, timing. It's very, not, you can go. Look, I love them, but good comedic timing is very hard to find in the void. Anyway, I should point out one more thing. In deference to our animal friends when we're testing this chain, even though it probably would be better as an analog, we will not be using any animal flesh today in our testing. <laughs> you know what, that was pretty good. That was good timing. Let's do this. So did you really cut a guy in half once? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, it looks like it's about Halfway there? Yeah, just about. Let's give it a few more minutes. All right, but I want to burn something. Ooh, I think yeah. that chain's ready. Let's grab it. Round one. Here we go. Need a chain coming in. Ooh, nice and oh, toasty. That looks just like it does in the game. Yeah. Heat a chain test in three, two, one. Oh. Lay it down. <laughs> Lay it down. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, we got. Oh. oh. Well. Okay, okay. So maybe, uh, maybe you should deal with that. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, I think his crotch is on. I fire. I think his crotch is on fire, Alan. <laughs> nope. Okay. It's a very hot chain. So let's blow that out. And let's get the that chain off. That chain's gonna be very hot for let's a get while. The, let's get the chain off yeah. first. You got it? Up and out. Okay. Down onto the brick, just to be safe here. Away from the wood. And uh, why don't you get his crotch one more time, buddy? Ooh, oh boy! 
<laughs> okay, he's out, that's good. We got some fire and some flames, but I don't think they were the kind that we wanted. Yeah, I'm no doctor, but I don't think he got cut in half. Yeah, I don't think you need a PhD to see that. But if you look at our dummy, there is at least some damage here, some charring, some melting, but no piercing or cutting or anything yeah, like that. Right, it's about what you might expect. It would definitely burn you yes. and injure somebody, but it's not going to be hot enough to like ablate material out of its path and cut through anything. Yeah, red hot is really hot, but it's not like plasma cutter hot or anything like that. And our chain was on our dummy for longer than it is in the fatality. So to get what we see in the game, what if Mortal Kombat characters are made from something more flammable? Huh. I'll get right on that. Yeah, all right. Perfect. Yeah. Round two. Oh, wow. So hot. Okay. Very hot. You can feel it on our bodies. <laughs> Yeah, All right, heated chain test number two in three, two, one. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh no! It's going. Oh, it is going. This is taking a few seconds, but I he's say we let through. it go. The chain's almost down. <laughs> oh, come oh, on. I think it's stopped. Oh, wait, wait. Come on. There. Yeah. Right. Fatality. Oh, we did it. Extinguish it. <laughs> Oh, that was spectacular. That was a lot of flames. Our chain made it all the way through our test subject and thunk to the floor, just like you see in the game. But what did we have to change? We did not use our flesh analog for this. Right, so for this time, we used a middle section made out of expanded polystyrene, or the same stuff that like packing peanuts are made out of. Yeah, and obviously it has a lot lower uh, temperature where damage is dealt. You can see oh, yeah. <laughs> what it exactly did. Oh. It looks like he used to have a spine. Yeah, and innards and guts and gore and everything else. This looks great, <laughs> but what would have to change about the game for this to happen as quickly as we just saw it? Well, it means that Scorpion could totally cut a person in half down the middle if that person was made out of a vastly different material than the flesh and bone that we know of. Yeah, and then at least it would happen about as quickly as we see in the game, so. I think uh, we should probably go before uh, she cuts anything else in half. Today we wanted to test whether or not it was possible to entirely cut someone in half using heat alone. And I think that we can say, even though it is theoretically possible to do this, you can heat up human material hot enough so that it vaporizes out of the way. If Scorpion wanted to do this with a red hot chain, it would have to be a magical chain, glowing with magical heat because the temperatures required to do this kind of fatality are simply too great for regular old steel or iron. So at least for now, this this move needs to stay in the Mortal Kombat universe. Thank you so much for watching The Science of Mortal Kombat. I hope you enjoyed it. I know they sure did. I mean, of course you did. No!